everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. To my subscribers, welcome back. Thank you for being my continuous viewers. And to new viewers, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Okay, today's video is going to be for Gemini. So let us see what is going on with Gemini for this June 17th to the 23rd, 2019. What is going on with Gemini this week? Okay, what messages Ooh, there's that. does the universe have for you this week, Gemini? What does the universe want you to know this week, Gemini? the ace of cups let me just move over here ten of cups eight of swords the hierophant six of cups temperance page of swords Three of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, I'm also trying different lighting this time. Um, I noticed with the other four videos I uploaded yesterday that um, the spotlight when I'm showing the cards, it was showing like a glare. So I didn't put that spotlight on the cards. So let me know how you like this better if it's too dark or if it's just right. Okay, so let's see now what's going on with you, Gemini, this week. Okay, so we're starting off with the Ace of Cups. Ooh la la, love, love, love. Okay, so that is the focus. And it's crossed by the Five of Cups. Okay, so the Five of Cups is disappointed, you have regret, you're frustrated, um, suffering from a loss possibly it could be a turning point um, you might still have some hope um, so you I would say you are frustrated about a love in your life you may have regret about a love in your life maybe disappointed unhappy with the love in your life let's see okay so the basis is the ten of cups which is happily ever after that's supposed to be permanent committed and content love like marriage happy home where you live so let's see um, maybe you had a true love maybe if this is your spouse maybe you you were in love with your spouse and now you're regretting the marriage because if we look here in the recent past you have the eight of swords and the eight of swords is feeling stuck or imprisoned um, sick it could be um, some kind of like defamation of character. Uh, I would say that maybe you felt stuck in this marriage and you felt imprisoned. And uh, maybe you had a fear of leaving for whatever reason and that prevented movement 
for you, but definitely you have you have felt stuck and like kind of in a jail. Maybe the, the person that you're with is constantly um, questioning everything you do, everywhere you go, and I don't know, let's see. Yeah, I would definitely say this is the focus of a marriage because in your thoughts, we have the Hierophant, and the Hierophant could be many things, also marriage. So being that we have here the Ten of Cups, which is marriage, happy home, and all that, it actually makes sense, okay? So you are really thinking about this marriage and you're you're having regrets you're unhappy about it you may have been in love at, in the past but you're not feeling that way anymore and you like having your happy home you're definitely um a person that likes to have the family surroundings and that could be why maybe in the past you felt stuck because you didn't want to leave your family, but you just you're not you're not happy with this person. So you you're regretting the spouse but not the family. You know, you like that home life. You like having the kids there if you have kids, you know, family coming over for the holidays and, and all that stuff. And so now you're just really torn because you're, you're not happy with your spouse. And that could be why you've, you've felt stuck in the recent past and feel kind of like in a prison. Okay, so in the near future, we have the Six of Cups. Okay, now I don't see any separation cards for you from the spouse so here we have the six of cups which could be memories of the past it could be kids um, past situations resurfacing it could be an ex coming back but I don't see any other cards reflecting that so for now I'm just gonna steer clear of an ex coming back and say this could just be um, in the near future you're thinking about the kids memories of the past of how happy your family was with the kids how everything was wonderful and you know you you love that but that's just not the way it is anymore maybe the kids have grown up and moved out maybe they've gotten married and now you're trying to just figure out okay well what's next because I'm not happy with my spouse you know so memories of the past you could just be reflecting on how your your home life was um, Maybe you're talking to your kids in the near future and maybe you're going to tell them, hey, look, I'm, I'm not happy with your parent, you know, your, the, you know, my spouse. I'm not happy with your mom or your dad, whoever this Gemini may be. And you want to see how the kids feel about it, you know, because they are part of the family and you probably don't want anybody to hate you. But for whatever reason, sometimes things happen and you just, you're with somebody a while and you can fall out of love or maybe the relationship was damaged by either party or both parties. I mean, things happen. Sometimes people are not meant to be in your life forever and it hurts and it's sad, but it is what it is, you know? So I, I have a feeling this is going to be you in the near future talking to your kids and letting them know how you feel um, with this situation and you're going to get their input on it. Or it could just be that you're not even getting their input. You just want to be able to tell them face to face, hey, look, this is how I'm feeling. These are my plans. This is what I'm doing. Uh, I'm, I'm going to leave. You know, I'm going to file for divorce or just get separated for now and then see how it goes from there. You know, just so that the kids hear it from you and um, you can actually be genuine and, and just have a heart to heart with them, you know. So they can understand where you're coming from as opposed to you don't say anything and you just leave and now you're a piece of shit because you didn't say anything. But what else are they supposed to think? You know, so it is better for you to go and talk to the kids. OK, so the next card we have is temperance. And this is how you view the situation. Um, temperance is just doing things in moderation, um, being patient, trying to be smart about it. Um, 
trying to have your balanced emotions. It could also be a reconciliation, but the fact that that you have this regret and frustration over the Ace of Cups, I, I really don't see it being a reconciliation because there's nothing else after this that's showing that. You know, it's just you're you're sad about your spouse and and the happy home that you once had. So I think you're just trying to keep it together, be patient, be patient, do things in moderation. And um, yeah, just keep those emotions balanced because I know this isn't going to be easy for you. Okay, then how others are viewing the situation or your environment is the Page of Swords. So a lot of people could be gossiping about what's going on in your marriage. Or it could be that the spouse is spying on you if, you know, you had already told the spouse how you feel and, you know, they just want to keep an eye on you to see, well, if you don't love me anymore, well, why? You know, is there somebody else or, you know, something like that. I, I don't see here that there is anyone else. Um, there's no other people that came up. So if this is a cross watcher... I I don't see anybody cheating or anyone else here involved. It just seems to be a decision that they made because they just feel that way. They're frustrated. They're regretting this. Maybe you guys have been trying to work this out for a while and it's just not working anymore. So now they're frustrated and they, re they regret the continuous trying and they feel stuck. They feel like they're in a prison and they just don't want to feel that way anymore. So, you know, it could just very simply be that because I don't see anybody else here. Um, so yeah, it could be your spouse is spying on you because they want to know why you feel this way. They, they feel they, there might be somebody else or it could just be that um, maybe your rocky marriage has become very public and now people are just gossiping about it. You know, you, you, you guys are the word on the street, what's going on on the block. So, you know, everybody likes drama. You know, hop on the bandwagon and just start, you know, chiming in. Okay, so your hopes and fears is the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands is ongoing with the promise of future success and progress. So you're just going to want to move on with your life and, and just have, you're just hoping that things are going to uh, progress happily and amicably, uh, Gemini. You, you, you don't want any problems. Okay, and then the outcome is the Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles, this could be an apprentice card. Um, it could also be just somebody working really hard. Um, so maybe you're going to just throw yourself into your work. You know, I mean, if you're going to get divorced or, you know, separate, you're going to need money because now, you know, everybody knows the separation and a divorce is not cheap. So now you need your money and their money. So, you know, you're just going to start working your butt off to make that money. And this could be with whatever field it is, Gemini. I mean, whatever it is that you do, you're going to just do a lot of it. Okay, so let's see. So yeah, that's all I see for this week. You may not file for divorce this week. You may just throw the idea out because I don't see a separation. I don't see divorce. I just see that you're not happy and you want to move forward to be happy. So you may just tell your spouse how you're feeling if you didn't already. I actually see this week you're going to tell the kids. Your focus is, is on the kids. So let's see. How how are the kids going to react to you telling them you're not happy with their parent? Please clarify the Six of Cups. Okay, King of Cups. So um, that could be a person in touch with their feelings because this is a general reading, so we're not doing male or female. So a person in touch with their feelings. So you're going to be genuine and emotional when you talk to your kids or child. Please clarify the Six of Cups in the near future. Okay. Right, how many do we have here? 
three. Okay. Okay. Eight of cups, nine of cups, and seven of pentacles. And then this was, okay, I'm actually not going to take this because I don't need five cards to clarify one. Okay. Well, you know what? I feel bad. I feel I should. Screw it. I'm going to take it. Okay. It flew out for a reason. Okay. So now we have here, how, how are the kids going to take it? Okay. So you are going to be in touch with your feelings. Okay. Uh, because you're an air sign, Gemini, this is a water sign. So this can also be, um, a person in touch with their feelings. So it, this makes more sense in this situation. So you're going to be very heartfelt and emotional when you tell your kids how you're feeling. Okay, the next card is the Eight of Cups. Okay, now the Eight of Cups is um, somebody turning away. They're disappointed, moving on, letting go, but it's their choice. So you're going to basically tell your kids how you're feeling. You're going to tell them you are letting go of this marriage. You want to move on. Um... You, and it's your choice to do so. You want to leave. You want to walk away. You're not happy. Okay. Nine of Cups is the following card. This is a wish come true. Um, your, your kids may understand where you're coming from. I mean, if you and your spouse have been fighting and you guys have been trying to make this marriage work for a while and your kids have seen that, they may actually understand where you're coming from and your wish come true will be the understanding of your children where they're like, yeah, I understand you gotta do what you gotta do because if they're older and they understand and they've been in relationships and they see what's going on and they, they see this, you two trying to force this to work is not working, they may feel the best thing for you guys is to break up. So this is actually going to be your wish come true, which is your kids understanding and saying, yeah, it's okay. We approve. It, it's about time you guys do this because you're both miserable. It's not working. You know, well, we don't want to see either one of you miserable. So it's just, it's not working. So they're going to agree and understand. Um, Seven of Pentacles is the next card. And that is um, hard work and patience being rewarded and good news financially. So it could be your hard work and patience being rewarded as far as trying as much as you did to make that marriage work and then telling your kids how you feel and they understand and they saw how hard you tried to make this work and they agree with you. So this conversation with your kids is gonna go well. And then the last clarification we have for the Six of Cups is Page of Pentacles. Okay, now the Page of Pentacles is, um, it could be uh, news or messages of financial or academic. Um, I would say this is also a younger person. So it could be um, if, if one of your children is an earth sign, because this is a pentacle, um, if one of your children is an earth sign, earth sign being uh, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. So if you have a child of one of those signs, this could be your child or one of your children. And um, they may reach out to help you in some way. You know, maybe they'll offer some financial help, you know, um, if, if they're you know, living on their own, maybe they'll say, well, hey, you can come and stay with me if you need to get out of the house. So this way, that's like money you don't have to worry about coming up with for an apartment or something, you know, or maybe they'll offer to take care, or help take care of the other spouse. So it's less that you're burdens with. So you might have one of your children actually offering to help you. Okay. Which is really nice because when you're, you're feeling like that in your marriage, it's, it's hard enough to deal with getting separated or possibly divorced or just being unhappy in a marriage. I mean, you're together for so many years and you have a family and all that. And for whatever reason, it's just not working anymore. It's really comforting to know that you're going to have your kids understanding and loving you and, and saying, well, I'll help. Don't, don't worry. Like you're not alone, you know? So that's, that's a beautiful thing. Okay. So let's see. Cause I don't need to clarify anything else. It's just, for the week. 
So let's see what messages we have from the crystals for you, Gemini. What messages do the crystals have for you, Gemini, for this week, the 17th to the 23rd? Protection, black tourmaline, okay. Teacher, okay. And music, I'm not surprised this came out, okay. That's just for personal reasons. <laughs> okay, um, okay, so your outcome Eight of Pentacles, it says you're going to be working hard. One of the jobs that comes up with the Eight of Pentacles is somebody that works in the music industry. You could be working in a venue or recording music or anything that has to do with music. And that's why I thought, oh, that's funny that the crystal card came up, music, spirit courts. So yeah, you're, you're going to be focusing on your work in the music industry. And if you don't work in the music industry, then this would simply be for you. Go see a concert, you know, um, it doesn't have to be, um, like a rock concert or anything like that. I mean, if you like classical music, there's plenty of places where you can go to, to hear whatever kind of music it is that you like. Just go, you can even listen to music in the car while you're home. It's just saying that the music right now is going to soothe you. The, the lyrics are going to speak to you. So just make sure that if you don't already work in the music industry, you listen to music because you're going to get a lot of messages through the lyrics that are going to help you. The universe is going to speak to you through music. Okay. Now, Black Tourmaline protection. You are protected. Okay. The universe is looking out for you. So make the moves that you need to make. It's okay. All right. And teacher, this actually, the vibe that I'm getting here is that your kids are actually going to be teaching you in this reading. So where you've been trying to teach them the whole time and raise them to be certain kind of individuals, when you actually go and you speak with them and you see how much they've matured and grown and they understand and how comforting they're going to be to you and to help you, it's actually going to teach you a lot about them, which in turn will teach you a lot about yourself because you've raised them to be the individuals that they are. And that is now going to reflect back to you, you know? So that's what I have for you, Gemini. Hang in there. Do what you need to do. Be true to yourself. And uh, your kids will understand. Just make sure that you're, you're forward with them and your heart felt like you plan on doing and, and everything will work out. Okay. Thank you for watching. Peace and love. And I'll see you in the next video.